rise I can see the restraints But darling, when I hold you Folks, this is where you know back with another lesson and continuing our soft rock ballad series. Uh, well, it isn't really a series, but I've had a lot of requests, you know, for other rock ballads. This is probably King of the Rock Ballads or Queen of the Rock Ballads, whichever way you want to look at it. Uh, this is Guns N' Roses and November Rain, uh, coming in at just over eight minutes long. An absolute epic, this one. So I've been working on a, an arrangement for this uh, by aid of a capo, so it's quite easy to play. So, you know, most beginners could get this song down. So it's a great one to sing and play. Now, if you do want the chords, lyrics and strumming pattern to this, as always, I'm going to post it up on my Patreon page, so there'll be a link to that in the comments. I'll also put a link in the description. And the way that that works, just click on the link, sign up for as little as a couple of quid a month or however much you guys want to pledge. It's all very much appreciated. all generally goes back into the lessons. And it gives you guys access to not only this song, pretty much everything I've done over the past three and a half years, just over now. So there's a lot of content up there. There's some exclusive videos that are on YouTube. There's videos from the archive. And there's also stuff to coincide with a lot of the technique lessons I do as well. So if you're into the scales and blue stuff, what are you waiting for? Check that out. Link in the comments, link in the description. If you don't want to do that and you'd like to show some appreciation in a different way, I've got a new feature you'll find just underneath the video there. It's a super thanks link. You can click on that and make a small donation. Again, massively appreciated. Uh, thanks for your continued support. Thanks everyone who's subscribed and continues to do so. Now, if you are subscribed and you haven't got round to it already, please hit that little notification bell you'll find just underneath the video there so you can keep up to date with all the videos that are put out. And if you want to, please go over and give me a like on social media. So I'm Wayne Argiton on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and now also TikTok, as we always say, I'm trying to get down with the kids. Anyway, that's enough of me rambling. Without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so the song is in standard tuning, but for this version, as you can see, you're going to want the capo up on the fourth fret, okay? Uh, and the chords to the verse, or once round with the intro, we're going to do a C chord, A minor, and then we're going to go to a G. Okay. Now I'm playing the G chord with my second, third little pinky, third fret on the top E string relative to the capo. So we can get this nice sort of embellishment in that's sort of a, the melody of the song, you know. Uh, and what we're doing there, we're going to do a G, a G sus4, so that's uh, just putting our first finger on the first fret of the B string, and then we're going to take that off, and then we're going to take the little pinky off, so we're actually doing what we call the G6 chord. So what we get is... Uh, So 
so that's really effective if you can do that sort of throughout the verse okay so that goes around three times uh, once for the intro twice around with the words I'll just play that so you can see how that gels together so what we get is Okay, the next line is going to go A minor D. But nothing lasts forever, and we both know hearts can change. We're on the G there, the embellishments. That goes around again, A minor D. And it's hard to hold a candle in the cold November rain. Okay, so there's another verse there. So basically the chords to the verse for two lines, we're going to go C, A minor, G, with that little embellishment. Uh, again, C, A minor, G. And then the next two lines are going to go A minor, D, G. Okay, again, A minor, D, G. Okay, so the chords to the chorus are going to be a C and a D. That's going to go around four times. So what we got is, Don't you need some time on your own? Everybody needs some time on the ground. Don't you need some time all alone? Little bounce from that D sus four. Okay, so after that first chorus, we've got this little bridge, and the the chords to the bridge are going to be a B minor, a C, and a G. And then it's going to go a B minor, C, A minor. And then a B minor C G, and then a B minor C D. We're going to hold on to the D there. That's going to take us into the big, you know, first guitar solo. So uh, if we just play that through, so it's going to go. I know it's hard to keep an open heart, but even friends seem out to harm you. Okay, so we've got the first guitar solo, so the chords that go underneath that are basically a C, an A minor, and a G, okay? That's going to go around four times, so. You can do the embellishments around the G. Okay, so that's going to go around four times. Then we've got another chorus, uh, we've got the next guitar solo, so same chords underneath that is going to be a C, A minor, G, this time it's going to go around twice, and then we've got the last verse, uh, I'll just sing the last verse through and then I'll show you how the song ends, so what we get is... And when your fears subside, and the shadow still remain. So this run of chords takes us to the, the end of the song, well, except for the big epic ending, which I'll show you in a second. So the chords to this are going to be a G, a D slash F sharp, so I'm just doing a regular D chord, my thumb's going to grab, you know, the second fret on the low E string, the F sharp note. Uh, then we go to an E minor, a D, C, D, and that goes around again, so I'll just play that outro, so G, D slash F sharp. E minor, D, C, D, goes around again. Okay, 
then we'd finish that part on a G, okay? Uh, so if you want to finish it there, just do it as an acoustic sing-along, that's fine. But if you do want to add the ending for a bit of fun, if you've got a friend or whatever who wants to play the solo over the top. Uh, so once we strum that G, so now to do a little slide on the A string from the 10th fret, just down the string. Okay, and then four times round we're going to do this chord sequence. So it's going to go to a G, a D sharp, now we can either do that as a, you know, a bar chord and then enter an F. Okay, but what I do, I do a D sharp, just take a regular D chord, move that up a semitone, just play, you know, the E, the B and the G string. And then we're going to go to an F major 7, I do that with a C bass in. So what we get is... That goes around four times. Okay, and then the chords to the outro with the guitar solo, we've got a G, D, C, G, we've got the D sharp, I'm doing that the same, then into a D, and then into a G at the end. So what we get is... So that goes around six times and it's good fun to stick that ending if you want to. And that is pretty much the meat potatoes of the song. As I say, it's a really long song, over eight minutes long, the proper recording. If you're doing it acoustically, you don't have to play the chords under the guitar solo, but I'm just showing you know the entire song. Okay, so uh, that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. So what I tend to do, the chords that go for a bar, I'll do a down, down, up, down, up, down, down, down. And the chords that go for a half a bar, down, 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 up. So what we get, if you hear that around some of the chords. Okay, and those half-time chords, you know, pretty much at the end of the song, we'd have a... pretty much works throughout the song and that is pretty much all you're gonna need okay so thanks very much for watching quite a long lesson for that so I'm gonna wrap things up really quickly so uh, as I always say come on if you don't like that song you do not like music uh, please get your requests and if you like to see any other you know rock ballads or anything 50s to modern day the easiest way is obviously uh, comment in the comments below the video or find me a personal message over on those social media platforms I suggested at the start of the video. Other ways that you can help me out is obviously subscribe, hit that little notification bell, uh, the patron thing, sign up for that if you want the chords, lyrics and strumming pattern to everything I've done over the past three and a half years. I've got the super thanks link. And I always say word of mouth is a powerful thing. So if you dig what I do, please like and share my videos, tell your friends, tell your work colleagues, anyone you know plays a guitar, please point them in my direction. So thanks very much for watching, whether it be morning, day, night. Uh, thank you very much, and I'll catch you all for lesson very soon. Take care.